So now let's talk about triple integrals in spherical coordinates. So let's start by reminding ourselves what we learned about spherical coordinates previously. So remember that they're given by a rho, a theta, and a phi. So, and the conversion equations from rectangular to spherical, x is rho sine phi cosine theta, y is rho sine phi sine theta, and z is rho cosine phi. So then we can talk about a spherical block, just like we talked about a cylindrical block. It's given by constant bounds on all my variables, rows between row one and row two, thetas between two fixed values, and phi is also between two fixed values. And then we can set up our triple integrals using spherical coordinates. So a triple integral over region Q of a function dV, the integral from theta 1 to theta 2, the integral from phi 1 to phi 2, the integral from rho 1 to rho 2, and then you've got to change all your variables. So x would be replaced by phi rho, rho sine phi, cosine theta, rho sine phi, sine theta, and rho cosine phi. And then remember how in, in Cylindrical, you get an extra r. Here, you get an extra thing. You get rho squared sine phi. And in this case, I'm going to go with a d rho, d phi, d theta. Okay, so the important thing, make sure you don't forget, whenever you're using spherical coordinates, you get an extra rho squared sine phi there in your integral.